Well, I need for all of you to close your eyes for a moment. I want you to imagine a world that is void. It has no sound. It has no shape. It has no movement. Everything is completely still and it's dark and there's absolutely no existence, no purpose. Go ahead and open your eyes. How did that feel? Nothing was there. It was dark, no existence, no life. Many people talk, but very few are ever heard. There are some people that are visible, but are never seen. In this life, there are trillions of people in our world, but only few will be remembered. So who are you? Who am I? Who is the person that you live with? Who's the person that you go to school with? Who's the person that you see in the grocery store? Who's the person that you're sitting next to? The direction of our nation is formed by many decisions that are made, but it derives from the one person with one idea. You see, the power of one is bigger than what the eye can see. It's louder than what the ear can hear, but it is certainly felt by every beat of the heart because it has passion. The mind must be full of imagination and visionary. Your mind must see things that others don't see and creates a world that others cannot even touch. Because your imagination and your vision, our world depends on for our future existence. So what is power? When I think of the word power, I think of energy, strength. Energy, strength, both physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. What is one? Hmm. One is the lowest cardinal number. It's solo. It's on its own. It's singular. It may be the lowest number, but it's the most powerful number. So it's up to one individual to make a change. And guess what? That individual is you, you, and you. The power of one empowers others. Hmm. How can I best illustrate to you about the power of one? Well, I think of a battery. Not just any type of battery but a car battery. The car battery is necessary energy for the car to function the way it was designed and created to be. It's good to see a vehicle that's all nice, candy apple red shining, spoke wheels, 22s, tenant windows. Oh, it's there, bam. But that vehicle cannot move unless that battery is in there to aid it. What does your battery look like in your vehicle? This external shell that we live in and the battery that's within, what does that battery look like for the power of one? There's three things I wanna talk about when referring to a car battery, okay? We're not talking about the bunny, the Energizer bunny, but we're talking about the car battery. First of all, there's something that's called an old battery. There's nothing worse sometimes when you have an old car battery, right? 
When is the last time you checked your battery? Is it old? An old battery still has power nonetheless, but it doesn't have the energy that it once had to energize the vehicle to move. That old battery sometimes becomes stagnant and it doesn't move at all. So are you still repeating the same bad habits or the same good habits, the same routine day in and day out? We get up, we brush our teeth, we grab some breakfast and we're on the road. And we do that every day. Nothing changes. It's an old battery and it's time to change that. There's something that's called generational myth. What is a generational myth? Wow, I'm so, so glad you asked that. A generational myth is something that we do because mom did it, dad did it, grandmother did it, uncle did it, cousin did it. And 99.9% .9 of the time when you walk up to me and say, why do you do what you do? I don't know. That's just the way we've always done it. Those are generational myths. It's an old battery that needs to be replaced. The second thing I want to talk about with this car battery, you will encounter electrical glitches. Electrical glitches are disconnects or shortages in the cable and the battery. And those electrical glitches can be distractions, and they can distort the vision and the focus of your purpose and your power of one. What interferes with your energy? Who are the people around you? Who's to the right of you? Who's to the left of you? Who's ahead of you? Who's behind you? Take a look around that full circle and see what type of energy that you're getting from that. Electrical glitches could sometimes be bad relationships. Our heart was broke. There's internal trauma. We lost a loved one. We're frustrated with our class. We just can't grasp the lesson. It could be broken friendships. We thought we were going to be friends for life. But there was electrical glitches that happened along the way that we just couldn't repair. And it damaged the internal battery. Let me remind you that electrical glitches sometimes can be very depressive because we gotta find out exactly where that shortage is at so that that battery operates in the way it's supposed to do and give us the power that we need. Those electrical glitches are distractions. But distractions are not to make us bitter. Distractions are designed to make us better. The third thing I want you to remember about this car battery. You know, we have this thing, we are on this journey, our life's journey, we've got it all mapped out, right? I gotta get from point A to point B by this time point B to point C by this time. And when I get from point A to point B, I should have accomplished this much. We have a map. We're in our vehicle and we're getting ready to take this journey. But you get to a point where you're saying, okay, I have so many miles to get here. So we're in our vehicle, our everyday lives, we're moving, we're empowered, we're excited. And we realize, uh-oh, it's time to get to the next charging station. I have so many miles, I realize that I must get to the next charging station so I can continue on my journey. So you get to the charging station, your shiny car, the smile on your face, you're pumped up, got a good energy around you, and you're saying, okay, let me plug into this charging station. And uh-oh, there's no power. Now there's a little panic in the air. What? This was supposed to map out the way I designed it. I'm here at point B in this charging station. I looked at my map. This charging station is here. 
Where's the power? What's the problem? Well, you are at an ineffective charging station. Our purpose was to get to that station so that we could refuel, refocus, and regroup because we still have miles to, to do. Now we see that it's ineffective. An ineffective power station can cause a lot of damage because the energy is crucial for the journey of life and the power of one. So when you find people around you that are giving you this energy, positive energy, stick with those people because they will be there to support you. They will not judge you, but they will always be there for support. But then when you find, your station, you find yourself arriving at a station that is ineffective and those people around you are not giving you energy or power, they're literally draining your battery. And when a battery gets drained, all of that power and potential and energy to make that vehicle operate it in the way it was designed and created to do, now is barely making it and it still has miles to go. So you have to take a self-examination and examine those around you, who's good for me and who's not. Because the power of one recognizes that this journey that we call life, that we have to make some changes along the way. We have a map, but there's things that are, are detours. We're still gonna get to that destination, I guarantee you, because you are the power of one. But sometimes construction happens and we have to take a detour. Our power and connection to others will allow us to stay tapped into our purpose. One's power is contagious. That's not something you run from. When a person has the power of one, you want to catch what they have. Give it to me. I need this energy that you have. You know, we've had historical leaders in the past, current, that have been great examples, great in our lives, and they will always be remembered as great. And the power of one also says, we've had people in our lives that we recognize have drained our battery and has called us grief, and they will be remembered and recalled as grievous. Those that are called as grievous will be remembered for us to be, able to, to be able to identify how we allow them to drain our battery so that it doesn't happen again. But again, that is up to one individual. That is you. That is you. When you think of the power of one, you should feel empowered. You should feel confident. And you should feel courageous. There's a quote that I love that says, our vision must be so clear that fear is irrelevant. I'm not scared of no lion, tigers, and bears because I have the power of one and I know I have purpose, I have potential, and I am going to reach my dream and my destiny. I cannot allow fear to entertain my thoughts or distract me or cause electrical glitches in my battery because I have a journey that I must take. Nothing can stop you from reaching your goals. Don't stop dreaming because your dreams will be reality and you will be remembered as great in the power of one. Remember the non-existing world that we mentioned in the beginning? Remember when your eyes was closed and it felt so dark? Remember that? That feeling? The sensory deprivation was there? Well, in the power of one, that world no longer exists. Throw it off. Because you are empowered to empower others. 
you now will paint your picture upon a canvas. Throw some red up on there for boldness and strength. Throw some blue on there for wisdom. Paint your picture. Your picture will speak loud. People will see it. They can't help but to see the power of one in you. And certainly, they will feel that heartbeat. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. The excitement that you give. The power of one allows you not to, to exist in this world and just say, I got a life. But the power of one allows you to live in the fullness of life. That's what the power of one is capable to do in every individual's life. It's up to you. The power of one. It's time to take the power and conquer the impossible. You have to believe it. The power of one doesn't desire to control everyone. No, we recognize that we don't want to control everyone. But the power of one realizes that we have the power to guide anyone that is willing to tap into this energy. The power of one is not conceited. But remember, we are confident. We're Superman, Superwoman. Sometimes kryptonite will come along, but you got to fight it off. Because you are purpose. You have potential. And you have the power of one. When you realize you have power, you will learn from your mistakes because there are bumps along the road. Remember, we're on this journey. There's bumps, there's potholes, there's detours on this road. But those detours, those bumps, those potholes are not to make you angry. It's to make you better, stronger, and wiser. I am convinced that you hold the power to change your circumstances all around you and be your own success. You have the power to the right charging station. Unlock every door of opportunity. I leave you with this affirmation that you will amplify in your destiny. Check your battery. Tighten those loose cables. Tap into the connection, into the world that awaits you. You are the change agent for change. You are the answer to all of your questions. And finally, you are the power of one. Thank you.